When you upload a video in English or Spanish, Stream will automatically create the caption file. So when I go create and upload video, if I choose to upload a video, let me just pull something up, for example. It's here that because the language is English, that it will automatically create a captioning file. So let me just stop this, go back to my content and back to my videos. And I'm just going to back, go back to this earlier video and I'm going to go edit. When I go edit, here is the captions file here that it automatically generated. And I have the option to download that file. If I download that caption file, it's basically, if I choose my desktop and choose save, just put caption file, I'm able to download it and then I'm able to open it. But before I open it, I actually have to change its file extension. So I'm just going to go to my desktop and I'll just bring this file into view. Here it is here. Oops. So here it is here. I'm just going to right click it, go into its properties and at the end of the file, I'm just going to add full stop txt to turn it into a text file and OK. Now if I double click the file, I'll be able to view the text file. And so what the caption file is, is it's a web VTT file. And this is how it looks. And so it's basically got a, a period of time here, and there's the caption, a period of time, and the caption, a period of time, the caption. So what I do is I sometimes save this as another file in another language. So let's say Spanish. Oh no, because Spanish already happens. Let's go French. And then what I can do is I can translate each of these into French and edit this file. So let me just translate this into French. And once I've translated it, I can paste it into here. And I would do that for each line. And once I'd done it for the entire document, I'd save that document, close that document, and then I'd go to the um, editing of this video and I'd go edit to subtitles. I'd say that I had another subtitles document and it was in French. And then I'd select the file that I'd created in French. And I'd open it. Oops. But I must remember to actually chain, take the TXT off and put VTT on the end. So let me just go back and rename that file. And I'll take the TXT off the end and put VTT on the end. Yes, I want to change it. Now I'll bring back my um, stream. I've chosen French, now I'm going to select the file again but it'll be a VTT file. Let me make sure I choose the right one. So I open that file, and here it is here. Then I'll go OK. And if I happen to be watching, so let me just um, go to view my contents, go to videos. Let's now go down to video 1 to watch it and if I happen to then go into when you first start Excel let me just mute that go into my settings go into captions and subtitles and choose my French there's my French let me bring it back to the beginning and there's my French subtitles showing so you can have more than one subtitle file for each video and the easiest way I find is to get into the edit video and download the caption file and then save rename it as a txt file and then translate each caption into another language and save that file and upload that file so that you've got subtitles in another language.